Here are some simple tips to improve your productivity on Windows 10 and 11. These tips can make you work faster and one more organized and smarter. So today I'm going to show you 10 simple tips for to supercharge your productivity. Well, the first one is very simple. Hover your mouse over the Max Mouse button. And yes, I'm practicing Duolingo, nice. You can hover over it and then select a preset right here. I can easily just click on one of these, for example, this one right here, and then I can select the next one, which can maybe be my music or something. There you go. So that was very quick, not even difficult. What you can also do, for example, let's say I have this window right here, I have it selected, press Windows key, hold it down, and do a right arrow or a left one. First, it will go to the middle and then it will go to the other side. So if you do a double, you can put it down any way you want. You can also use arrow upwards and then it will go full screen. Very useful. An arrow down is, of course, not full screen anymore. There you go. You can even hide it if you want. This is the same like the hovering over maximize button. Because if I put it on the left side and I let go of the Windows key, it will also show me which app I want to put aside it. So right now, I have a very useful feature. Sometimes you just got to go here to the Windows button and I click here and then you can type, which is very annoying. You can also just press windows button and then add so you can immediately search for your things for example for settings but if you're a lot of times inside of settings you probably also want to know the key point windows key and i because it will instantly open the settings if you gotta go there for wi-fi or anything like that but if you use the bluetooth settings and wi-fi a lot i recommend that you learn to use windows and a because now I have opened my Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings. I can also do flight mode, everything like that. The brightness for my laptop screen. Very useful. Just Windows and A. Here you have a lot of features. Uh, also value mature, which I really recommend you use. If you just go to the settings, you should be able to find them and change volume for every single application or your own output device. What you can also do if you want to see, for example, your calendar and your notifications is Windows N. Now I will see my notifications and also my calendar. You can change this if you want. I really like it that I can see the date of which one it is tomorrow. You can also press here focus because it will put it on do not disturb automatically. But I like to have it on at that time. Make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying this video. It's also a very useful feature if you see something very funny, you probably want to make a screenshot. So if you press Windows, Shift and then S holding them all down in order, you should be able to make screenshots and even better, you can also make video recording. So if I drag my mouse right here, you can easily record. You can also use your own microphone and of course turn off the audio of your own PC. So if you want to make a recording for your friend, you can easily do that. You can turn this on and then you can record something and the timer will go off and only in this window something will appear. Look, it already opens the snippet. Very useful feature. If you press Ctrl S right now, you can actually copy it and then paste it to another chat. But another way to do a screenshot is to press point skin button. It's exactly the same, but it is an instant button for this amazing feature. You can also do full screen, Netflix like that, a window or freeform before you make a weird shape or something. There you go, a heart because it's... Sometimes you're typing to a friend and you want to send an emoji, but you gotta search them up first. Let's not do that. Let's press Windows button and a dot. It will open the emoji menu, will open the emoticons menu, everything like that. You can search it up very easy like this. We can even turn on clipboard. It is available now for Windows. So let's turn it on. You can see the heart I just made. So right here, there you go. It's that easy. Emoji. But that's not all, they also have gifts, which is amazing. Look at this beaver. Sometimes you have a really cluttered start menu just like this and you want to change it. Well, let's search for start settings. Because right here, you can change this. You can see more pins, the default on my recommendations. So if I turn on more pins, you can see more of this instead of the default of recommended apps. More recommendations, turn it on. I'm gonna do the default. You can also do recently used apps can turn those off there you go most used apps so it will be recommended down here and everything like that just like folders very useful you can see that right below if i turn on these you will see them below here if you have to instantly access your documents for example or your downloads folder there you go very easy we have already talked about the clipboard but here's a useful keybind if you want to go to your clipboard instantly windows and v 
here you go. Instantly, your clipboard, you can copy everything and you will see that here in a beautiful list. If you need to set it to multiple friends and you already copy something in between, it's very useful. If you like this menu on the left, you can turn it on with Windows and W. You can see your weather here, the time, you can even put your market cap there, everything like that, even mail, notifications and your OneDrive and all. The reason I can't show it is because it doesn't work for me. I turn off a lot of features I don't use <laughs> because widgets does have ads and why Microsoft, why? Why add ads? One feature I can't go without, and you've probably have already seen it in, the, in this video, is translucent TB. If I turn it off, you can see I get the normal bar and it is always distracting me. If I open an application, it is still very distracting. It didn't change color. So I always open it and then when I open a window, it will go dark. And when I close it, it will go transparent. You need to find this in the Microsoft Store. And it is free. So let's go here to Translucent TB. Make sure you install it and then open it. After doing this, go to your icons right here. Make sure you open the menu. Then click on Translucent TB. And now you can change a few things. Like if I maximize my window, I've enabled it. It will go opaque. That means that it goes black. And if I half the rest, so that's of course desktop. I want it clear instead of opaque. Just like that. So clear. You can change multiple settings here, for example, battery saver, task view open, and search menu and a start menu. You can all customize that. I think it is great because it doesn't distract me anymore and it is very immersive. Another very useful feature, and I don't know if this works, if you guys can see this, which you can lock your PC instantly if you walk away with Windows key and L. Here you go. I've closed my windows and I can open it again. There you go. I don't know if you guys have seen that. You lock your PC instantly while you walk away great for safety another very useful feature and this is a bonus tip is windows and e if you press this you will automatically open explorer and i think it is great because i don't have to have it here in the bar and it's not ugly i can instantly open my uh my downloads my documents everything like that instead of having it here cluttered a little bit in the start settings i mean start menu i for example have my google drive uh linked and all that uh right here the quick access menu okay not a good tip there you can right click here on this application while selecting it and then you can put it in quick access which will have it here in this useful menu which you see all the time I really like this because I have my movies, I have my media creation and everything like that. If you want more Windows tips and everything like that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. I will know that you loved this information and I can make more of it. I will see you in the next one. I want to thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.